Good morning children. You already know how to do simple subtraction of fractions. Let us understand it more now. Let us find out what is 5 by 6 minus 2 by 6. You know just like in the case of fraction addition when the denominators of the two fractions are same that is they are like fractions we can subtract the numerators directly and the denominator remains the same. So 5 by 6 minus 2 by 6 will be 5 minus 2 is equal to 3 and the denominator remains the same. So the answer is 3 by 6. Let us take another case where the fractions are unlike fractions that is the denominators are not same. Subtract 1 by 4 from 2 by 5. So just like we did fraction addition when the denominators are not same we need to make them same to perform subtraction. So in 2 by 5 and 1 by 4 we need to make the denominators same. That is we need to make them like fractions. So we multiply each denominator with the other's denominator. 5 into 4 and 4 into 5. So both are 20. Then both the denominators will be equal. In 2 by 5 multiply the numerator and the denominator by 4 and in 1 by 4 multiply the numerator and denominator by 5. To ensure that the value of fraction remains unchanged not just the denominator even the numerator needs to be multiplied by the same number and we get an equivalent fraction. Thus 2 by 5 can be written as 2 into 4 divided by 5 into 4 which is 8 by 20 and 1 by 4 can be written as 1 into 5 divided by 4 into 5 which is 5 by 20. So we get their equivalent fractions. So let us subtract 8 by 20 minus 5 by 20. Now as the denominators are same that is they are like fractions let us subtract the numerator 8 by 5 which is 3. So the answer is 3 by 20. But this method of multiplying each fraction with others denominator to get a common denominator can be very tedious sometimes. Like when we subtract 5 by 12 from 9 by 10 we cannot convert 10 into 12 by multiplying it with any whole number. But if we try to multiply 10 by 12 or 12 by 10 then large numbers need to be multiplied like 9 by 12, 10 by 12 etc. Is there any easier way to do it? Yes, there is. The simplest way is to find the LCM of the two denominators which are 10 and 12. The multiples of 12 are 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, etc. And the multiples of 10 are 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So what is the LCM here? Here the least common multiple or the LCM of 10 and 12 is 60. Now how to make the denominator same? That is 60. Let us see 9 by 10 first. 6 times 10 is 60. We need to multiply the numerator and denominator of 9 by 10 by 6. So 9 by 10 
can be written as 9 into 6 divided by 10 into 6 which is equal to 54 by 60. Similarly, in case of 5 by 12, how to make the denominator equal to 60? 5 times 12 is 60. So, we need to multiply the numerator and the denominator of 5 by 12 by 5. 5 by 12 would be 5 into 5 divided by 12 into 5 which is equal to 25 by 60. Look, using the LCM is much simpler than multiplying the fractions with each other's denominator to arrive at a common denominator. So using the LCM method, we arrived at the much simpler equivalent fractions. 9 by 10 is same as 54 by 60 and 5 by 12 is same as 25 by 60. Now we subtract 25 by 60 from 54 by 60 and the answer is 29 by 60. Now let us subtract 3 by 16 from 7 by 12. Again the denominators are not same and the fractions are unlike fractions. Let us try to find the LCM of 16 and 12 to make it simpler. So we find the LCM of the two denominators 16 and 12. The multiples of 16 are 16, 32, 48, 64 etc. And the multiples of 12 are 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, etc. What is the LCM here? Here, the least common multiple or the LCM of 12 and 16 is 48. Now, how do we make the denominator same? That is 48. Let us see 7 by 12 first. How to make the denominator equal to 48? 4 times 12 is 48. So we need to multiply the numerator and the denominator of 7 by 12 by 4. 7 by 12 would be 7 into 4 divided by 12 into 4 which is equal to 28 by 48. Similarly, in the case of 3 by 16, 3 times 16 is 48. So we need to multiply the numerator and the denominator of 3 by 16 by 3. So 3 by 16 can be written as 3 into 3 divided by 16 into 3 which is equal to 9 by 48. So Using the LCM method, we arrived at much simpler equivalent fractions. 7 by 12 is same as 28 by 48 and 3 by 16 is same as 9 by 48. Now we subtract 9 by 48 from 28 by 48. So the answer is 19 by 48. So now you know how to subtract unlike fractions easily using the LCM. That is all for today. Bye bye children.